Hey everyone, Prep and Paul here. Today we're going to talk about ICOM's remote control software for some of the ICOM radios. It's called the RS-BA1. There's a version 2 out. So if you scroll down on this uh, software page, you'll see a tab here in the middle that says Compatible Products. Scroll down a little bit, and this shows the USA version, what the software is compatible with, and that's, you know, their, their main radios, the 7851, 7610, 7300. Uh, actually, let me switch here. Um, so it, it's compatible with these radios, 7300, 9700, 7100, the 905, the 705, which, which is the one I'm connecting, and then some discontinued models. All right, before we continue, let's go back to the um, remote control software website. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and to the right, you're going to see support and download, and then you're going to see installation guides. So pick your radio. Uh, so I'm in Windows and I got the 705. So I'm going to click this one here. And what that does is that pops up the installation guide for the radio. Um, so for the ICOM 705, it comes with, you know, the radio came with its little micro USB. So I don't need this, the cable that came with the software. This is for the other radios from ICON. Um, so we'll scroll down here and what you want to do is it's going to show you how to install the driver. So you're going to go back to that thumb drive and you're going, you're going to double click the folder for drivers and you're going to see a driver 32 set up in 64. I run in the 64. I think most are 64 at this point. Go through that setup and install the driver, and then it's going to say that you need to reboot the computer. So now I've rebooted the computer, and we're going to plug in the micro USB side to the ICOM radio. And the USB side to the computer. And here's the, the chimes, and it's uh, I think it's already loading because I already rebooted. So let me make, let me double check. Okay. So then what we got to do is I believe it was uh, com eight, but let's let's double check. So you go into device manager and you look down here in com ports, and yeah, it's right here. Is my IC seven hundred five serial port B com eight, and then the serial port A CV CIV com five. So I'm going to pop that up here in the other window so I can just watch it. And then we're going to go down. And it's going to tell us to go to the CVI, CIV COM port. Okay. And then I guess I'll bring it back down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that CIV COM5. And we're going to go to properties. And under properties, we're going to go to port settings. And under port settings, let me move this a little bit. Just lost it. Uh, properties, port settings. Um, we're going to click advanced. And under advanced, it says uh, select the COM port number and click OK. COM port number, and oh, right here. So COM5 is selected. Click OK. I'm leaving everything the way it is on their screen on the manual. And then it says click OK to close the screen. After changing the COM port number, you may not be able to immediately use the port. Um, so then 96891, I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm not going to uninstall the driver, so we're going to skip that. And I got to remember 9600 baud. And so now that's basically installing the driver and connecting my 705. So that was COM5. Okay, so after you've got the driver installed, you can go uh, on the thumb drive. There is an instruction manual. It's 89 pages. Um, but let me see if I can just help you get through uh, the start of that and um, not have to go through all those pages. So what you're going to do is the programs it installed is first you're going to go to the icon. Now you've got the driver installed. You've got RSBA installed right here. You see, you're going to go to the icon remote utility. It's going to pull this window up. Now I'm plugged in, as you can see, plugged in here to the 705 and we're going to pick how we're going to connect. So um, I'm not doing the remote function. I'm actually doing 
direct connect to the PC. So I'm going to click this one and it's going to set up register radio that is directly connected. We're going to click next. It's recognizing on COM5. We're going to click next. The radio name. I'm just going to click next. And so here it is. It's a address C CIVA4 port 5. Okay, so I'm going to click this box so that it's blue. And then settings, we're not going to mess with. Cancel that. And then I'm just going to hit connect. The serial port is 5. And the CIV is A4, just to make sure. So now we're connected. Okay. So we can minimize that. And then let's bring up, let's go back to the RSBA1 remote control version 2. We'll bring that software up. We're going to stop trying to connect if we can. I guess we can't. Okay. Um, click on connect set. It's COM5. The CIV. That's what I thought. Okay. We're going to click the connect so it's not connected. Then we're going to click connect, click the connect set. And it was COM5. We're not going to mess with the baud rate, I guess. CIV address of the radio was 5A, I believe. We, and we can come back here and look. A4. So see, I had it wrong. Let's capital A4. And... I, I'm going to leave that as is, and I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to click Connect. And you can see, once I get the screen up again, and you can see now we're connected to the radio. So all of our controls here uh, are basically all in the software. Um, so now, something I'm going to like about this, my 705 is going to be mostly used for POTA type things. And I'm not necessarily going to be um, needing to pop up screens and stuff. But when I use it at home, I'll mostly be using it if I live stream or want to control it and want to be able to record that window instead of this kind of setup like I have on the right here. Uh, this will allow me to record that. Uh, what's cool is you got scope here. Um, you've got a, a couple other windows, your keyer, uh, voice for the memories, I think. Yep, you got voice memories. So everything is available here now. And the scope is going to be great. I'm not connected to an antenna right now. I'll make another video I'm trying to keep the video short. So now you can see that we are connected. Uh, we can move the, the dial and you can see the dial, the frequency moving. So everything I do now, just with the USB plug or cable that came with the radio, goes right in the PC. We're set up the COM port, driver, everything's set, good to go. We now have remote software set up to control our ICOM radio from our computer. Next video will be playing around with the software, seeing what we can see. I got to connect the radio to the uh, antenna and we'll see all the fun stuff we can do with the software, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps those of you who may be struggling in 73.